All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, yeah, finally going to get you guys some more VR content. Um, yeah, we're jumping back into American Truck Simulator here. Uh, about a year ago, I did a video on getting it to work in VR. Uh, supposedly, it actually works for Euro Truck Simulator as well, uh, but I recently purchased that, so I haven't actually tried it yet, so we'll we'll do that today. But uh, yeah, this is just going to be an updated video on getting both of them to work, hopefully, uh, in VR. Uh when I made the video about a year ago, I think I messed up just a little bit. You know, I, I think I said it out of order um, what you do, but well, we'll start with step one. Step one, uh, you got to buy the game. If you haven't already, go on, buy them right now. They're like five bucks a piece if you, if you want either one. Um, you know, if you just want one of them, buy one. If you want both, buy both. They're, they're both great. There's a lot of uh, content in it, and the guys are still constantly doing stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, so you have to own it. This is not a free way to get it you know to work in vr or anything obviously once you get it download it um go to your library here on the left hand side over what it is right click go down to properties all right so in here when you first get it there's a couple things you got to change this will be automatically uh clicked on or at least i i'm pretty confident that's how it was originally but this is how you want it you want to get rid of it so that it does not do uh desktop game theater while steam vr is active get rid of that the other thing is under launch options. Uh, since I have the Oculus Rift, that's what I have is dash Oculus. So for the Oculus Rift, uh, the Oculus Rift S, and then it should be for the Oculus Quest if you're plugging in via the uh, the cable. Now for everything else, the Vive, the Valve Index, Windows MR, or what I've found the with the Quest, if you're doing the remote uh, desktop, you know the wireless thing you have to have the other one, which is dash open VR. Just like that, boom. And that would be, you know, <laughs> that's what you want in there. Uh, but yeah, so since I'm on the Oculus Rift, I want Oculus, just like that. Press okay. The other thing you need to do is go over here to betas. This will be what it is on, uh, as soon as you download it, is none opt out of all beta programs. You'll click on the top one that has anything about Oculus and Vive. Currently, uh, as of the video, you can probably read here, Oculus, Oculus slash Vive, 1.37 SDK, 1.4.0. So that's mine currently. Um, you know, once you do that, it should start a download. Once it finishes its download, definitely make sure that, you know, it didn't change this or put that back on for some reason. But anyway, once it's done, press close. And we're just going to press play. It'll pop up like this. Press play again. And. All right. So the game's loading now. Once it loads up here. All right. So the game loaded in. Uh, I still have you on my display capture, not the, the game, because it doesn't show you what it is. But anyway, so you'll load into the game here like this. If it is different, it's F11. So now, see how I can't move the mouse? That's how I know that the menu is in VR. If I if you cannot move the mouse, it is in VR. So if I press F11 here, there we go. So I want to continue so that I can do it on my desktop versus do it in VR, uh, the, the menu, because uh, it doesn't know where you're at. So anyway. Just like this, I press F11 again, see how I'm moving the mouse, press it, and it stops, it freezes right there, so that you can do it uh, in VR. It, it does move on the on the VR screen. Um, so depending on your setup, you might have to move the mouse over there or anything like that, you know, your keyboard. Uh, that's generally what I do. But uh, yeah, get yourself situated. And, well, go into drive, jump into a game. All right, and there we have it, guys. We are in VR in American Truck Simulator. Let's get ourselves situated here. You might have to get rid of the, you know, the little mirrors and stuff because it has the extra ones and your floating GPS is always in the freaking way, uh, which I think that's F3. The mirrors are F2, F1 pauses, and F4 does lights and stuff don't don't mess with that one <laughs> or I, I don't you can do whatever you want uh, if you have your keyboard right here it's 
awesome if it's across the room like mine's currently. It kind of sucks. You have to get up, walk over to, to set things up. But uh, yeah, if you have a wheel, um, it's really a lot of fun because you can tell right here. You know, um, if you have a gamepad, it's still a lot of fun. It's my my kid likes to play with a gamepad. He he can't quite reach the uh, the wheel uh, enough that that uh, he's comfortable with it. But yeah, you can you know as you can tell, kind of lean your head out, look back, Ugh, look around and stuff. Um, anyway, I hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, as you can tell. It all works. I just went right through that. Um, this used to not work, I believe. This one still will. Ooh, I don't think it shows on the screen for you guys, but in VR it will make you really sick. This one, we are in the roof. This one, I can actually see myself. That's kind of neat. Uh, this one looks like the truck disappears. That's weird. And then over here, off the left hand side. And yeah, other than the. That those two, the rest seem to be working really well, and then, yeah, um, it's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, I'm glad that the uh, that the guys put this in for us. So uh, anyway, let's uh, jump out and get Euro Truck Simulator working. All right, guys. Now for Euro Truck Simulator Two, um, same thing. You gotta own it. Just like I said before, um, you'll want to download it. All right, guys, so when it finally finishes downloading, same as the other one, go over here, right click on it, Euro Truck Simulator, Properties. All right, so use desktop game theater while SteamVR is active, new. No. Set launch options, you know, the dash. Open VR or dash Oculus. We're gonna Oculus for mine. Go to betas. Just like I told you on the other one, none. Opt out of all beta programs. Top one here. Looks like it's the same as the other one. The Oculus Oculus slash five one point three seven SDK one point four point zero. Click on that. As you can tell, it's doing a little download here. Um, we can actually click on it. There it is. So. It's a 38.4 megabyte. Oh my goodness. It's quite a big beta to uh, <laughs> to get it working in VR. That's the, it just blows me away when, you know, that amount right there and they can get this running in, in VR and yet you got all these different games that uh, they can't seem to, to get it working. But, oh well. Um, all right, so once that finishes, all right, so that's done. Again, like I told you in the other one, go back to general. It should stay the same. Yeah, it did, good. Um, so once that's done, yeah, we'll just click on play here and it should load right into it just like the other one. Uh, we'll see if it does the uh, the menu thing as well. Uh, sometimes the screen just, you know, stays a certain color while it's, not loading and stuff on the, the desktop uh, monitor, it will load in, in VR, which I might be doing here right now. Uh, see how I got a little bit of, I don't know if I press, yeah, so there we go. All right, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to log in here. We'll jump right into it and see what it's like in Euro Truck Simulator 2. And there we have it, guys. We are in Euro Truck Simulator 2 in VR. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get her all set up here. Let's go for a nice little drive. See how it plays. Should have all the same settings as my other one. Nope. That one? Darn, I'll have to set up all my other stuff and I'm gonna drive on the rest of the road because I always forget which way is which. Sorry. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was useful. I'm gonna go for a nice drive here, try to <laughs> 
figure out how to get my uh, turn signals working. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any issues, let me know. Um, you know, did you pick up the games? Uh, yeah, let me know what's going on. Uh, I hope, like I said, I hope it was useful. And, uh, you know, as always, thanks again for watching. We will see you in the next one. All right. One more thing, guys. Um, yeah, it's not really, uh, you know, necessary. But, uh, again, the game wasn't really optimized for VR. You know, it wasn't built for it. So, I say go into options, go to graphics. Um, you can tweak a couple things down. You have a VR-ready PC, obviously, if you're doing this. So, big thing to start here with simple settings. Bring it up to Ultra. You know, you can, you can pretty much guarantee that. Your scaling, uh, I believe default is 125%. Bring it down to 100, and then your depth of field, uh, turn that off. Everything else, you can run whatever you need, whatever seems to make it run best for you. The only the other things that I turned down I turned down my anti-aliasing, I have it on low, um, and then my mirror distance I turned down to medium. Why, I really couldn't tell you uh, anymore, uh, but that just seems to be what uh, what made it run the best for me, you know, the highest frame rate and you know, the, the less, least amount of hiccups. So, yep, thanks again for watching, see you next time. Uh oh, five wipers. Wipers? Oh no. Have no wipers!